Hey everyone, happy summer. Jason here with more insights and strategy. And I wanted to talk about something that really didn't get enough coverage over the summer, despite the fact that I think it's really a very cool development from Microsoft and from the Azure team. At Build, at the beginning of the summer, back in May of 2025, they announced a preview of something called the SRE Agent, and it's part of the Azure DevOps family of tools. But what it really is able to do is kind of automate a lot of the SRE tasks, including hooking into systems that take issue from calls, call systems like PagerDuty even, and it can also do a lot of things around just kind of providing real-time querying aspects to what's going on in a particular Azure deployment. I think it's a pretty interesting idea because first of all, I've been finding that kind of the horizontal agent idea has some utility, but when people build agents specific to a job role or specific to a set of job-based tasks, it seems that those are really some of the most popular agentic solutions out there. And SRE agent is definitely built around that kind of mindset. The other thing that really sticks out with it is its ability to provide value over and above what the job can do. So it can do things that you could not have done before. And for that, it's really where the generative AI starts to look at an issue and be able to come back and not just say, hey, there's an issue with this particular node or I'm having some sort of networking problems in this region. It'll come and say, you're having networking problems in this region, so maybe you need to redeploy workloads here or maybe you need to take specific actions and reconfigure or do some updates. So it actually doesn't just come at you with, here's the problem. It comes at you with, here's the problem and here's some ideas on how we might be able to solve it. So that's a real big productivity boost for SRE who are already pretty stretched resources in the IT world. So take a look at this. It's not in production yet, but I would assume it's going to be coming soon from Microsoft. And I think it's a real big value add for Azure people.